Hello guys, um, today's video is about programming a, a BCM module to a Ford Fiesta. This is a 2008-2009, I think it's 2009, um, Ford Fiesta and um, it's a right hand drive. The problem with this is for some reason water gets down there and then somehow water got into the I don't know if you can see it's it's wet I did open this up and it damaged the board inside it but uh, luckily it still communicates to the car the car starts drives and runs fine no problem but the only problem is that the horn doesn't work the indicator stocks doesn't work the lights doesn't respond because of this damage damage BCM so what I done was um, I got a second hand BCM same numbers from eBay and uh, I just received it I s installed it to the car and I want to program it but before programming it uh, you have to read the backup of this you need to back this up the information from this and then write it into the second hand one and to do that one I've already done it but I'm just gonna go through the video with you to show you how to do it it only takes about five to ten minutes it shouldn't take more than five to ten minutes okay so what we do is um, uh, okay by the way we're using for scan for this and we're using uh, with for scan I'm using uh, maxi flash JVCI from Autel uh, you can use elm 327 as well um, if you don't have this one you can use elm 327 which is it's very cheap from internet I don't know I'm not sure it should be about 30 40 pound if I'm not mistaken and uh, if you don't have this basically you use that if you have this you have to install the maxi flash jvci driver to your pc and then uh, after after you install the driver from this you install ford scan it's a very good software for ford and after after ford scan basically after you've done this you can you can connect to the car and using this through forest scan communicate communicating to the car so what we do here is uh, basically uh, before you put the second hand BCM to the car you keep the original in the car which I've done this I'm just gonna go through the process with you so you know how to do it it's very easy it takes only about five ten minutes to finish the job so you put the original one on the car after after you go to for a scan you connect to the car make sure the ignition is on basically here it says ignition on uh, switch on uh, ELM 327 that's that's the tool that I was saying so basically I'm, I'm not using ELM 327 I'm using maxi flash but if you have this one there's a switch at the back of the ELM you need to make sure that the switch is on on is on on position and then vehicle is not moving okay and then quickly it finds the car and then it says it's a fourth Fiesta Durotech it's a 2008 it's a 1.25 yes that's the right car it goes through all the modules and then after it goes to the modules we come to configuration and programming this is the configuration and programming and then we come to BCM come down run the test it goes through you hear some clicking from the uh, from BCM but it's fine it's asking us to turn the ignition off ignition off okay and then it comes up with all the configuration and all the files all the data from the original BCM this is obviously this is the second hand one but at the moment because I, I restored it to the original everything is original now. so let's think that the the original one is stored on the car so what you do here is you go down you press save it saves inside the force scan file which I've already done this this is original CCT and then you press OK it 
each sorry I didn't put any name on there so I'm not gonna save it because I've already saved it and then I'm gonna I'm gonna press cancel there but you 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 put whatever name you wanna you wanna do and then you press you save that file and then after you've done this you turn the ignition off you uh you replace the BCM with the with the second hand one you have and then turn the ignition on you go back again and then you connect to the car and then after connecting to the car again you come to the programming and then after you came to the let me go back and come out again just in case to make sure we got this take the ignition on let's connect to the car Programming configuration. We run the test to find the car. It says uh, module initialize your little relay data vehicle. This this function has been called to initialize module. Example after central configuration change. Vehicle not moving. Ensure the pedal brake is not pressed. Okay, we uh, that's that's okay. Service procedure is not so good. AVS. Oh, sorry. Did I did I choose the wrong module? Let me go back. I think I choose the wrong module. Find the car. Yes. Programming configuration. You go to. I think I choose ABS there then. That that's why. So we go we go we choose BC BCM run the test. Okay. It says switch the ignition off. It says switch ignition off. So it gives us all the information. So what we do here is we load the original file which is there. After we, write, we, we load in the original file, we press OK, and then it says operation completed successfully. Because uh, it, it, if now it says completed successfully because I've done this already, but uh, but if you haven't done it, it takes about 30 seconds to write everything. It asks you, it gives you the chassis number, it gives you the old chassis number inside the BCM, and then it asks you, do you want to continue, and then you press yes, you continue, and then it takes about 20 to 30 seconds, and it writes, it writes the backup to the new second-hand uh, BCM you have. Very easy, five to ten minutes, and thanks for watching.